Oh, here's a question. Have you ever thought about keeping chickens in your backyard? I think Nico would probably chase them away. Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably wouldn't be good. <laughs> Bear Creek Nature Center has a class for you, and John Martin has an apron on. Yes. It's Intro to Chickens 101, right, John? <laughs> that is correct. Yes, Justin, I don't think Nico would really dig having a chicken as a friend in the backyard. Well, actually, she might, but the chicken might not. So, yeah, we're talking about backyard chickens. Is it right for you? Bear Creek uh, Nature Center is having, why is that the hardest thing that I, I ever know. do? We talk every <laughs> month. Bear Creek Nature Center is having a workshop this weekend at 10 o'clock. On Saturday. On Saturday. Allison from Buckley's will be talking. Allison is holding Sweetheart right now. We might want to get to Sweetheart now because I don't think she's going to be uh, a, a deer and hold on for the entire interview. Out. The, the benefits and responsibilities of raising chickens in your own backyard, correct? Correct. What, what are people really going to learn from this experience? I mean, just kind of the 101s, or are you going to go in, in depth with all this? What I try to do is give an overview of all of the different aspects of chicken keeping, because anybody that you ask who keeps chickens is going to have a very different opinion on how to keep chickens. Sure. So I try and cover all the topics that you're going to want to research a little bit deeper on your own and figure out which method is really right for you and your family. And for example, we just learned something this morning. Jamie's holding a, uh, a, a chick. <laughs> that is uh, how old? That is six days old. Six days old. And this is one year old. And she's one year old. So in, in just that amount of time, you're going to go cute and cuddly to this is okay this is like Huge. you know this is a big deal yes they grow quickly yeah they grow <laughs> really quickly and you were talking about they, they lay healthy or whatever for about two years mm -hmm. and then you have to make the decision well is it time to is it time to eat them I know I'm sorry or or what are you going to do with them next I mean these are the things that you really need to know before you get into it absolutely what are you hoping over there at Bear Creek when they come out there that they're kind of learn and take away from all this? Well, I, I just want people to know that they can do things on their own, too. They don't have to always um, rely on the grocery store. Yeah. And I think that's a fun aspect, and I think it's growing. And there's a growing interest, too, in where your food comes from, and I want to be sustainable. I want to be able to do this stuff myself and not rely on other people so much. All right. Well, that is Bear Creek Nature Center at 10 a.m. on Saturday. We are at Buckley's. I want to show you like one more, like a couple of things. The other things that you guys do, for example, is you can make your own bar soap, including like hibiscus flower powder and chamomile. Fl I mean, you can do anything, make any sort of soaps mm -hmm. here. Um, also, I thought this was super cute. If you have liquid soap, you can put it on top of a mason jar and have yourself a little country setting there, guys. There's, there's so much to do here. There's so much to see. We're at 1501 West Colorado. Buckley's is open from 10 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 3 on Sunday. Wow. Uh, you should come down and see them. I, I assure you there's always something entertaining. And then you can come by and then go to the workshop, right? Mm -hmm. Look at Okay, we're going to wrangle chickens here coming up in a little bit. <laughs> The Just sounds all, all over around the store. I know. Right now. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. It's great in that sound, buddy. I love it. It's it's very uh, nature-like. I yes. feel I feel lovely. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, John. <laughs> and I like his apron too.